An object is thrown vertically up with a velocity of 35 meters per second. What was the maximum height it reached? So we're going to go off the side here, write down our given information. So we know that we have an initial velocity of 35 meters per second. We know the acceleration acting upon it is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Because force due to gravity is acting on it. We want to know the maximum height that it reached. So we want to know what y final is equal to. We know that y naught is equal to 0 meters. So our delta y is also equal to the height that we want to find. So because y minus y naught, simply the height we want minus 0 meters is simply the height we also want. So delta l delta y is also what we're trying to solve for. Now, we also know that once it reaches its highest point, that its velocity is going to reach a 0 meters per second. It's going to decrease to the point where it will reach this velocity here. We now write down the three kinematics equations, v equals v0 plus at v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta x and y equals y naught plus v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. Now the equation that we're going to use here is v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta x. Because we look at our givens, we're not giving anything with time, so the first and third equation are not helpful so the only helpful equation here would be our second equation which is v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta y and I'm gonna make sure make that also y because we're dealing with a vertical position now we're trying to solve for delta y so we have to get that alone so we're going to subtract v naught squared from both sides that will give us 2a delta y is equal to v squared minus v naught squared. We're now going to divide both sides by 2a. This will give us delta y is equal to v squared minus v naught squared over 2a. If we now plug in the values that we're given, final velocity is 0 meters per second. Our initial velocity is 35 meters per second and our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now if we carry out the squares and the subtraction on the top we would find that delta y is equal to a negative 1225 meters squared per second squared over 2 times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Once again, negative and the negative are going to cancel out. I'll give us a positive value. And then if we multiply 2 times 9.8 and then divide 1,225 by that value, we would find that our maximum height thrown up with initial velocity 35 meters would be 62.5 meters. So delta y is 62.5 meters otherwise known as the maximum height that we are going to reach is 62.5 meters.